The woman who lives in this Woodhaven Queen's house, a NYCHA supervisor named Eva Torres, wanted a kitchen makeover. She got in trouble because of where she shopped, the Wagner houses where she worked, the price she paid, nothing, and what she took. You've heard of the phrase, everything but the kitchen sink. Well, Eva Torres is accused of taking that, too. In addition to the sink, a double stainless steel number, she is also accused of stealing a white refrigerator and eight kitchen cabinets valued at $1,355. And here's the kicker. She got caught because she posted a picture on Facebook in the remodeled digs. And she couldn't deny she took the cabinets because the exact model is made exclusively for NYCHA. Residents of the Wagner houses were we're furious. They should give her a whole bunch of time, like 7, 12, 12 years. That's disgusting. If you work for NYCHA, a city job, why are you stealing? If somebody else unfortunately could have had that, it's sad and disgusting. Torres, who earned $89,000 last year, was nabbed as part of a joint probe by DOI and the Queen's DA, Richard Brown, who said Torres' alleged scheme didn't just rip off NYCHA, but also the thousands of residents who rely on the agency for housing. While greed may not be a crime, funneling goods and products meant for the truly needy is. NYCHA General Manager Vito Mustachulo insisted Torres does not represent the honest, hardworking, and decent employees of NYCHA. Residents who knew Torres say they're done with her. All from that south, stuff that she south. stole from other people, people needed that. I'm disappointed because I always say hi to her all the time. So if you saw her now, what would you say to her? I won't say nothing. I don't think I'm going to see her any longer. She's going to go to jail. Torres resigned her position today. She still faces a criminal trial. In Harlem, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.